Hello, everyone. Welcome to the market simulation call for summer 2021 release. My name is Anshuman Vaidya. I'm your market simulation coordinator, and today is July 12th. Calls and webinars are recorded for stakeholder convenience, allowing those who are unable to attend to listen to the recordings after the meetings. The recordings will be publicly available on the ISO web page for a limited time following the meetings. The recordings and any related transcriptions should not be reprinted without the ISO permission. We'll go through the following agenda today. We'll talk about map stage availability. We'll talk about the remaining market simulation initiatives and timelines for summer 2021 release. Talk about the initiatives separately. We'll go through the system interface changes, and then we'll talk about the next step. So currently we have an ongoing CDI UI and API maintenance that is supposed to end today. Uh, you can get up-to-date information of, of these maintenance on portalmap.kaiso.com. Anyone has any concerns regarding the map stage availability? All right, moving on. So for summer 2021 readiness, we are still planning to start our market simulation tomorrow. There's one caveat that we will not be testing uh, hash post-process uh, functionality because that's not ready yet. We will be testing the main PT export functionality where we'll be prioritizing export and import resources. So for that functionality, we'll open up the market tomorrow, but unfortunately there is no structured simulation scenario to test that functionality. So all the testing that will open up for tomorrow is unstructured. We are planning to open the has post-process functionality by this week, Thursday. We are striving hard to get to that date. Uh, so but it, we, we are hoping to start by 7.15 for that. But if not possible, then we'll start on uh, the next week, early next week, probably on Monday or Tuesday. Hello, Anshuman, uh, this is Emmy. Hi, this is Emmy. This is Emmy Stansett from Midway Sunset. Say so we still have an outstanding city on OMS that is is a uh, uh, is serious for us. So, um, if you're planning to make a go into production on the fifteenth, uh, we need we need some assistance, please. Definitely, I can uh, take that CD ticket for you. Do you have the number handy, or you can send me an email also with that ticket number. Numbers twenty four zero zero two seven. All right. I think I have my OMS SME here on the call, so I will give them a couple of minutes to maybe go through the CD ticket. If possible, maybe uh, let us know during this call. If not, okay. I will follow up after this call. Thank you. Thank you. All Hi, right. Instrument, I this is Chen Yu. I have a question. Go ahead, Jenny. Hi. Um, so, for the you, what do you just talk about the um, summer, the export willing and low scheduling priorities? Um, you say the host post process will not be ready in tomorrow's test. It will not be ready in tomorrow's test. Yes. Right. So that basically is the structure test, the eight. A and B, correct? That is correct, yeah. All right. Um, well, then, so what, what are you doing the system, the uh, system condition hour from one to five? What is that for? So that is, so uh, with this phase four of export billing and load scheduling priority, the main functionality is prioritization of import and export. That's what we are releasing starting tomorrow for market simulation. Uh, there is one more functionality in addition to the import export prioritization is the has post process. 
for which we mm -hmm. have created the structured scenario. Now, this second functionality of hash post process is going to get delayed by a couple of days. That's what I'm talking about. But you should still be able to do the structured, uh, unstructured testing for import and export functionality. That's actually the major functionality that's part of coming with phase four. Okay, and when is that one? When will we know that one will be ready? Uh, the hash post process? Yes. So we are striving hard to get it ready by this Thursday, 7.15, uh, but that can be delayed till early next week also. But we are doing every effort that we can do to make it available to you by 7.15. Right. So by 7.15, by, by the time this call, you should have an update whether we can conduct it on the 15th or the week after, correct? Yes. I just want correct. to make sure that really understand because our tester has been putting in the their head bit for actually the structure scenarios. Um, even that we we were thinking you having the QRB today and it is for the structure scenarios. We did not I guess I did not understand the has uh post process is not part of the picture or the thirteenth testing. Thank you. Thank you, Chunyu, for your concern. And we have been trying hard to uh get all the fixes for the functionality to start market simulation tomorrow, but Currently, we have not received uh, the whole code for hash post process, so we could not start market simulation testing. Even we could not even pass QRB with the partial functionality. So we're going to go ahead with uh, QRB for the PT export functionality for import export prioritization, and that QRB is scheduled late evening today around 4 p.m. And can I ask an additional question? So what can we test, actually? I understand you mean import, export, and what can we exactly test? Like we're just putting in bits in, and what what should we expect to see after your market is let, run? Let me see if I have my SME here uh, for this functionality in the call. Alex, are you in the call? Uh, I don't think Alex is here on the call. Uh, let me get back to you on that one, Chunyu. Uh, uh, the DDS will actually state the functionality, but let me get my SME to actually reply to you or you on the email on that. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, Anshman, uh, this is Ramesh. The question regarding the previous uh, CD ticket. It's actually ahead, for the uh, ambient, yeah, uh, ambient due to temperature. So we are restricting ambient due to temperature and ambient not due to temperature to only forced outages starting this release. So that was the reason it is rejecting the outage. So I mentioned that in the city tickets, use the appropriate edge of work to submit an outage. So that's not an issue that's actually changed. Uh, we are implementing starting from this release. Um, hi, this is Emmy. Could you give me a call so that um, uh, I would appreciate a call so that we know uh, what you would like us to, uh, how how you would like us to handle this? Uh, sure, we can have a call. Super. After this. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Emmy, for that call, would you would you be able to send me an email with your contact information so that uh, we can call you after this market sure. call? We'll, all right. Thank you. We'll do. Thank you. Any other thoughts or concerns regarding these timelines? All right, moving on. This is a scenario description that we are striving hard to make it available for you by just Thursday. You should still be able to check scenario number nine. Uh, this is an unstructured testing for uh, CIRA, RA, OMS, you should be able to check that tomorrow.
All right, moving on. For summer 2021 readiness structure scenario, as we discussed, we're planning to start market simulation tomorrow only for import export prioritization functionality. Uh, business requirements specification document and structured scenario documents are available here on the link. Any questions regarding this? All right. Moving on. We have resource efficiency enhancements track one project. We perform structured scenario for that project. Uh, on 7.1 for related to OMS. Uh, the business requirement specification document and structured scenario documents are available here. Does anybody have any questions regarding uh, RA adequacy, resource adequacy enhancements track one project? Hey, Ashman, this is Ray calling from pg and &E. um, Since this goes live on Thursday, 7.15, uh, do you think you'll have an answer about the QRB going live by uh, the market sim meeting? I should. I should have that answer. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other questions regarding this project? Okay, moving on. This is the OMS summer release timeline. I'll be waiting for the release to go in on production on 7.15. That's the only action item remaining here. Any questions regarding this timeline? All right, moving on. For system interface changes, we did not have any changes for this call. It is similar to what we discussed in the last call. Again, many of the items listed over here are waiting for the live date on 7.15. Any questions regarding those system interface changes? All right, moving on. Hey, uh, Anshuman, this is Fiddles. Uh, hey, Fiddles, go ahead. Hey, uh, can you please go back to the previous uh, slide? Yes. Yeah, so for uh, um, for the interface, there is no change, but in the the uh, there is a slight will be slight change in the CDI UI for. Uh, for the PD export, so that that is something um, uh, people will start seeing it uh, once as soon as you open the uh, EY for unstructured simulation tomorrow. So that is a slight change, and I can work with you to update that uh, that slide uh, for for that Definitely. before ne before next meeting. Definitely, thank you for those. I actually wanted to add uh, ask market participants about uh, we were planning to take the CIRA changes associated with summer release by 715. Uh, is there going to be is anybody opposed to having those changes only the CIRA changes go to production by 715 for summer release? Let me go back to the slide. Here. So originally this functionality which can has the PT export prioritization functionality, it also has some CRA changes associated with it. And uh, we were planning to take it by 750. Oh, hi, Inchman. Um Can you hear me? This is Chen Yu. Yes, Chen Yu, so go ahead. I, I heard that you mentioned PD export couple times and I'm just trying to try to think that where do I where do I see that information? I don't recall seeing the information. The change so that's CIRA. supposed to be yeah happening on the UI. All right. So there are it's, three part to it, three parts to this functionality. One is PT export, other is the hash post processes. 
and then see that changes. So, so okay, uh, you where is the PDF PDF Expo? Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry ahead. to interrupt. Um, where is the PD Expo information originally uh, pub published? I'm trying to just um, also excuse me because I might I might don't I might not remember everything. Um, I don't recall seeing that information. Right. So I mean, it is part of our BRS that is published uh, on the release planning website. But let me get you the sections uh, exactly which are detailing uh, this particular functionality, and I will send you an email regarding that for the details of the page numbers over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that BRS just being updated last week? Uh, no, this was part of BRS for a long time now. Okay. Okay. Then I can I can take a look. But I remember the I remember the only thing is that today's outlook that is part of the you know which is the non-policy phase. Which is, has some zero change. Is that, are you referring to that one? Uh, to new, you know, I'm at loss of words. Let me get more information from my SMEs and get back to you on that one. Sure, yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of confused. Okay, thank you. That would be great thank if you. you can provide some uh, guidance on that. Thank you. Sure. Um, Antuman, Antuman, and you know, I think um, uh, maybe maybe I can help a little bit here, at least if not all the information. So for today's sure. outlook, yes, there is some change, but that's not related to this one. The PD export changes is a is a different change. Uh, so uh, Chinu, from the CIRA perspective, I think we covered all those changes in a, in our training last month. Our customer uh, readiness team when they went through the training. I think, and those things was covered over there. I, we, maybe we can get all this information, the training date and the presentation, and send you the detail. Maybe that will help you. Um, um, thank you, um, Futters. I will, if that is covered in the training in the BRS, I'll go back and take, a, take another look. Yeah, thank you. And please let us know if you still have any questions. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chunyu. And regarding the CETA updates, which are also part of this summer 2021 readiness export wheeling and load scheduling priorities, uh, we are planning to open it again for uh, tomorrow in the market simulation, and we're planning to take the changes to production by July 15, only for the CETA changes. So uh, I wanted to see. Uh, what are thoughts and concerns from market participants regarding that? Benjamin, I have to get back to you on that. I need to first find out where the 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 PD Expo in Syria, and then uh, we'll get we'll get back to you on that. Whether we okay with uh, Kaiso just going po portion of it under July 15. Thank you. Thank you, Chinyu. Anybody else from market participant side wants to raise any concerns regarding that? I had a question. <clears throat> Go ahead, Nora. Hi, I'm Suman. <clears throat> I sent you email regarding uh, summer readiness schedule by Thai. Mm, I sent you um, we, we on Thursday. I brought it up, and I sent you email on. Friday about the API, <clears throat> about group zip performance of schedule by tie. Is there any, it really worries us that when we trying to download, it just, it gets stalled and uh, <clears throat> it takes over to 20 seconds actually to download group zip. <clears throat> right. Me. So I, I looked into that. Uh, to see the ticket, Nora, and we, our SMEs are still looking into it. I don't have a, a reply for you as of now, but I'll follow up again uh, and see where if we can uh, get back to you on that CD ticket today. I have not opened CD ticket, but I will go ahead open today. I just I okay. was waiting 
for you uh, to uh, actually take a look because it looks like it's it might be uh, it looks like it's not our vendor problem. It looks like it's coming from Kaliso. <clears throat> I see. All right. I look forward to seeing a certificate coming and then you know work on it with our SMEs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nora. All right. Well, that's all I had for today's teleconference. Next teleconference is scheduled on July 15th at 2 p.m. And I'll open up for any other questions or any other help that I can provide for regarding CT tickets or anything else right now. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining the call. We'll see you back again on July 15th.